Good morning, everyone. Oh, I look like crap. I went to bed with wet hair, so my hair is like all messed up. But anyways, today I am out here in my backyard. I am going to try to put the screen in around the bottom of the pool. I have had my helper was supposed to do this for me and he got a job. So on his days off, he doesn't feel like coming over to help me. So anyways, I'm stuck doing this by myself. I, I know putting screen in is not that hard when you take the screen out and you lay it on the ground and you do it, but these you can't take out. They're, they're on they're I'm going to show you they're sideways. All right, guys. So it's not like I can, I know you got the wind. It's not like I can um, lay those down on the ground and try to do it. I already pulled the other screen out because it was it was already falling out. Um, so, but if you see all the stuff that keeps going inside, it's getting in my pool. All the bottom screens are messed up, every single one of them. So I bought. There's the screen I pulled out. I bought a, a roll of screen, like a hundred, um, hundred foot of screen. And um, I'm gonna try. I mean, I'm sure I can do it. Might screw up a couple times, but I'm sure I can do it. But if you look, this is um, ripped dirt and stuff comes underneath. That one's ripped. It's ripped. They're ripped all the way around the pool. So, and then that, that's the one that completely came out. But I gotta get all this gook out of here first. Like this one's even ripped. Every single one of the bottom ones are ripped. And I think at this point, the worst part, hopefully that was the worst part, Hopefully the worst part was trying to pull that rubber stuff out from around. Because um, I had a heck of a time. I had to get pliers. I ain't got no muscle. I had to get pliers and pull it out. Look what the dang squirrels are doing. They're pulling them things from the trees. And they're getting them everywhere. Alright, so I gotta get a blower and blow this stuff out of here. Uh, the pool, I should probably plug in the vacuum on the pool. There's so much to do when you own a house. If you don't have anyone to help you, I suggest you don't buy a house that has a pool and a yard. Um, unless you got a lot of money that you can pay people, you know, professionals to help you, I suggest you don't, don't buy a house with a pool or a house with a big yard. If you can't do the work yourself, which I can do some of it myself, but I can do most of all of it myself. It's just hard. It's hard when you're when you're doing everything by yourself. And like the flower beds in my yard, I put all them up and they're so pretty. But they, it's so much work weeding them. I wish I never put them there. I have a half notion to just take them away so I don't, so I don't have to pull all the weeds. But I'm probably not going to do that. But it's a lot of work. It's, it's way too much work for one person. All right, so I have to plug in the vacuum cleaner of the pool. All right, so it's in the pool. I'll plug the vacuum cleaner in, maybe. Oh, there it goes. All right, the vacuum's plugged in. The pool can start vacuuming itself. Thank God, that was a miracle thing that I bought there. The pool vacuums itself, you just got to hook it up. So, so that saves me a little bit of back break because it's hard when, you, when you're trying to push that other vacuum, the manual vacuum around the pool. You get it done faster because this thing here, I'll have to let it run two or three hours for it to hit the whole pool. But um, yeah, this is way worth it, way worth it. All right, so these flower beds here were here when we moved here, but like this one don't get many weeds a few back across here i redid this if you guys remember and i put in new plants weeds everywhere that black stuff that you put down that says it's 10 years guarantee for weeds not to come through it's a lie it's totally a lie um what i was thinking about getting was some rolled um the rolled shingles you know like the shingles that go on a roof because it's real thick I was thinking about getting a roll of that to put under the mulch to keep the weeds from growing through. Because that black stuff, it's a lie. They make so much money off that stuff. And yeah, it probably helps block some. But I mean, look, you guys know we just did this last summer. And we pull these weeds all the time. So, 
Yeah, it's a lie. It's better than having nothing because it probably blocks, um, you know, a lot of the weeds from coming through or a lot of stuff from coming through. But if you look around, the weeds are everywhere. Everywhere. So, yeah, don't take it for its word of 10 years because it, it don't work. It doesn't even work a year. I did it out front too and um, weeds are just coming up there. It's awful. All right, well, I got to get a blower and the and try to blow all that stuff out of there and then i'm going to try i guess i'll set you guys up we're probably going to have wind maybe i'll go in and look for another wind sock um and um we're going to cut the screen and um try to put it in i don't know i don't know if i'll be able to do it or not but we're going to try okay guys i cut the piece i needed and um Tyler come out and helped me. I didn't film because um, Tyler had his music going. But next time I'll film and take the sound out if I have to. We got the top and the bottom in. We still have to put the little black stuff in for the sides. Um, you know, right here. It's not bad. On the inside, though, there's a white mark. And um, it's from the it's, on the... it's on the inside of this stuff. Like I could see the white mark. Let me see if we can find it. See, see, I know you can barely see it. Right here, you can see it on the inside of the screen. I don't know why and what it's all about, but it's going to be on the inside of the screen. Maybe I can spray it or wash it off. I don't know what that is. Looks like paint. You see it? Brand new from the factory. I don't know what it is. And I don't even know if you guys can see it. Yeah, hopefully you can. Anyways, that'll block the stuff from coming in. It was so hard to do. I think I want to do the bottom. We did the top first and the bottom second. Putting that the black strip in. I think I want to try doing the bottom first. It'll be easier to pull and make it tight at the top. I'm not sure um, if Tyler's even going to come back out and help me, man. This was a pain in the ass. He might come back out and help me. I don't know. Well, anyways, while we were doing this, um, see that big branch? That branch got struck by lightning a long time ago and was stuck up in the tree. Well, we had tried to get it down and could not get it down. Um, I went in to do something and I come back out and it was laying here on the ground. Okay, so then we were just over there doing the, um, doing the screen and we heard some thump behind us. And the staghorn fern, the staghorn fern fell out of the tree. And Tyler says it's so heavy that he can't pick it back up. Oh my God. So I don't know. I told him to see if he could get Wyatt to come over. We're going to have to put it, tie it around that chain. Can you see the chain up there? We're going to have to tie it around the chain better. I don't know. I guess it was tied right here. I don't know. I mean, this is pretty strong right here. Um, I just don't know. We're going to have to figure out how to get it back up in the tree. And Tyler can't pick it up. So, what the hell? I just don't know what to do. You can't just leave it sit here. That thing's, you know, worth worth some money. I heard that, that people sell those for like $1,200. Maybe I'll call, um, you know, but if they come out and see it on the ground, um, they might not want to. They might like offer you the lowest amount of money that they could offer you because they know that you need to get get do something with it but I could find out what they um, pay for these things um, I'm worried about this tree we had some high winds today but it doesn't seem to be so bad now there's still some stuff on branches on the ground but I couldn't believe that that came down luckily we weren't out here but I probably got it all on camera because right there's the camera so I probably got the staghorn fern fallen and that tree branch fallen. So I have to go back and try to look at that today. If I don't do it today, I'll forget. Okay guys, so this is what happened in the backyard.
there goes the branch. And then a little while later, watch that staghorn fern. I couldn't believe it. Oh my gosh. I walked out and didn't even notice that branch in the yard. Just trying to put in that screen. Did I not even notice it yet, guys? I had to walk away for a minute. I don't know if I even noticed it. I just noticed it. <laughs> like what the hell happened? That was a dead branch that had been up in the tree from when it got struck by lightning in 2016. I think it was, no, not 2016, 2018 when we first bought the house. It got struck and we could not get it out of the tree because it was stuck on top of all the other branches. But thank God that it didn't go through the pool enclosure because putting screen in is hard. The wind sure was blowing today. Um, I still want to get that branch there cut and then this branch over here cut. The ones that hang this way by the pool, I want to get them cut out. But Tyler done left me. I guess I'm going to try to do one of these sides by myself. The sides probably won't be as bad. And like I said, if you could take the screen down and lay it on the ground, it would probably be a lot easier than trying to do it up here on the side while it's up. I hope we don't have to replace those big ones because if we do, we might have to pay somebody to replace them. I don't know. All right, so I'm gonna try and do the um, sides. Okay guys, I'm going to try to do this myself. Don't know if it's gonna work, but I'm gonna try. does not go in very good. Shit fire. No wonder Tyler was complaining. Haven't even got it in yet. I ain't got started. Maybe I bought the wrong kind of stuff. Oh, 
Oh, Lord. Yeah, I complain more than Tyler did. Oh, shit. Tyler didn't really complain. I heard the gesture so in his tone. You guys probably can't even see me. Going in. It's a pain in the ass. Holy crap. I bought a screen to do all these screens. I don't think Tyler's coming back, guys. I think he just said, screw this. I don't blame you. Shit fire. Shit fire. Right. Oh, the worst part is the squatting. Maybe. Shit. I can't do it, guys. It kills my legs squatting like that. Holy shit. So that means I'm gonna have to find somebody to come over and pay somebody to do this for me. Wow. Really sucks, but have no choice. Damn it. I gotta at least try to finish this one. Alright guys, I gave up. Um, I got aggravated. And I didn't know it was raining. Let me sh try to shut this door. Fall down. I went in and I watched a couple YouTube videos on how to use it. A lot of them say don't use the round spline. Um, certain channels won't allow you to use the round spline. I don't know. That round spline went in fine. I got the top, the bottom, and this side done. I do not have the other side done. Um... Our plant fell out of the tree. It's just, and now it's raining. So, I guess it's not gonna get done. I mean, at least that one's almost done. I don't think that I would be, unless I can find an easier way to do this. I was screaming. You guys didn't hear me because I cut that part out. But unless I can find an easier way to do this, um, there's no way I can do more than one a day. Cause just doing one took me a couple hours and it's a pain in the ass. So, look at the pumpkins that Haley and her boyfriend... Let's see, let me move my junk. Haley and her boyfriend carved pumpkins. I'm assuming that's Haley's. I don't know. Look at this one. They're dorky looking. <laughs> I guess they're going to light them up. I see they got... I think they got candles in there. 
Oh, they got little tea candles in there. I bought lights to flash that flash inside there. They just have to find them. All right, so yeah, I gave up. Tyler had an idea on the um, on our um, staghorn. He said something about throwing a uh, like one of our ratchet straps. We thought we were going to do rope, but we don't know. We don't have any more rope. Throw in the ratchet strap over the tree up there. Tie in one end to the lawnmower. Tie in the other end to the staghorn rope that's in the staghorn. And then as I pull away at the lawnmower, it should lift the staghorn back up to where we can tie it back to the back to the chain. I don't know. Hopefully it works out. I don't know how it's going to work out. But it's going to probably be on the ground for a few days. I don't know. Hopefully tomorrow it doesn't rain and we can try to get it done tomorrow. We'll see. Alright, so I guess I'm done for the day. Got a little bit of aggravation. <laughs> And now the rain. All right, guys.